Hey everybody, Brian Horvath here with another LinkedIn Live Q&A and so excited to have you back. We took last week uh, kind of off, been working on a lot of our uh, three C's to LinkedIn Masterclass and been working on um, the Ultimate LinkedIn Profile, which is a course that I've launched. It's now live. If you want to go check that out, go to brianhorvath.com slash enroll. So a lot of exciting things going on. I've had a chance to speak at my uh, church the past couple weekend or the past uh, weekend in multiple services about finances. There's been a lot of things going on, exciting times uh, with regards to helping people to know, live, and love the purpose for their career in finances. And that's what this is all about. That's kind of what, uh, if I could do what my little girl does, little little heart thing, um, seeing if I'm doing it right. But uh, that's what it's all about, is helping you. That's my heart, to help you know, live, and love the purpose for your career in finances. And so welcome to today's uh, LinkedIn Live Q&A. And we're going to share a lot today about how to keep LinkedIn simple. So without any further ado, let's hop on over to that. Really want to help you to discover the opportunities you have to keep LinkedIn simple. So in this LinkedIn Live q and I'm going to share with you how you can keep LinkedIn simple and fun. And so for a lot of us, you know, if we thought about um, whether it's just launching our LinkedIn profile or making tweaks to it or little quarter turns or whatever the case may be, a lot of times, you know, we have the issue with thinking about overwhelm or we're thinking about how many to get this all done or I have to have it all done today. And you put an insane amount of pressure on yourself to to make that uh, real for you. And I want to help break that today. I want to help you to see LinkedIn as an opportunity to have fun while getting things done, while getting it done, as I like to say with a lot of my clients and even in my own family. I like to have fun while getting it done. Maybe you want to have getting it done first and then that means you can have fun. Whatever the case may be, we're going to help you do it in a way that keeps LinkedIn simple. And so when I work with a lot of folks over the years, folks get concerned about, um, you know, the technology. They get worried about how they show, quote unquote, online. They get concerned about the confidence of how, what if someone actually takes action on their profile? What do they do? <sighs> let's take a deep breath. Let's keep LinkedIn simple and let's have fun while getting it done. So today we're going to uh, kiss fear, worry, anxiety, goodbye. No, we're not going to kiss it. <laughs> We're going to send it off with a kick in the booty. We're going to kick it out of our lives. Kick fear, worry, anxiety. Kick it out of here. Replace that fear, worry, and anxiety with fun while getting it done and keeping LinkedIn simple. So let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and let's get started here to do that today. So as I share with you again, this LinkedIn Q and A we happen to have this every single week, and this LinkedIn Q and A happens to be sponsored by this new masterclass. And actually, if you're watching this live. Tonight, we have the um, last LinkedIn masterclass I'm going to do in quite a while called the three C's of LinkedIn, the three C's of LinkedIn, and I'm going to cover three success strategies to help you make the right career connections online on LinkedIn without having to be a computer whiz, without having to have all the tech jargon down, have to have all the bells and whistles pressed, checked, pulled, whatever the case may be, without you having to be a social butterfly. You don't have to be an expressive personality or an outgoing personality to be able to leverage the power of LinkedIn. No, matter of fact, sometimes that can be distracting and, and uh, keeping you away from being the most effective, honestly. Um, you can be a, a dominant person, someone that's a driver or wants to get it done. You can be um, someone that's more introverted or somebody that's more um, kind of consistent and, and, uh, and, you know, just on purpose, slowly plotting over time, you can be that. You can be the tortoise and you can be the hare on LinkedIn and be uh, fired up about the opportunities you have to make a difference within your career. And then also, you don't have to be a networking superstar. Again, it kind of ties into some of the other things, but you don't have to know all the all the networking hacks, tips, tricks, things to say, things not to say. I want to help you be you, help you be the best you. You can be. help you to be real, authentic, and to showcase your value and share your um, story on the world's largest professional network and platform. That's what this is all about. Over time, throughout the weeks, even in conversations, I get questions about how can I use LinkedIn to help me? How can I use LinkedIn to help my company? How can I use LinkedIn to help my nonprofit? Maybe it's a church or, or a, um, you know, a food bank, whatever the case may be, um, or even an educational institution. How can principals, how can vice principals, how can community liaisons within the school system or even at universities or um, colleges be able to connect with the community at large or even their students at, um, or students' parents. LinkedIn is a great way to do that. And all those questions kind of come in to me throughout the weeks and I share them with you. I share the responses and answers with you. If you have a question and you want to get it answered, 
please send me an email at brian at brianhorvath.com. I'd be glad to get that over uh, answer to you, but also be able to show it and feature it on the show that we do. And again, LinkedIn live Q&A every Wednesday, although I did skip last week. Um, but I had a master class and then I have one tonight, so I'm still out there. <laughs> but LinkedIn live Q&A, want to help you each and every week answering your LinkedIn questions. We do that on YouTube. You can view these on YouTube. You can view this on Facebook. You can view these even on Twitter. And if you haven't yet joined my Living on Purpose with Brian Horvath Facebook group, go ahead and search for that, Living on Purpose with Brian Horvath. It's a, a free and private Facebook group that uh, I'd love to have you join it, encourage you, equip you, and educate you, help you just make the most out of your purpose, knowing it, living it, and loving it, the purpose for your career and finances and overall your life. And um, you can view this live LinkedIn live Q&A on that as well. So, oh, also subscribe for free. I'd love to, for you to like comment please like comment and subscribe support this channel support the opportunity for more of this to get out to the right people where it can help the most and uh, subscribe today for free go to brianhorvath.com slash youtube and click like or subscribe check out some of my videos on purpose on career on finance and so on and so forth thank you for that so today how to keep linkedin simple in this uh, LinkedIn Live Q&A, what I'm going to mostly do is give you a couple of things to think about, and then we're going to dive into LinkedIn itself and show you a couple of things I want to encourage you as hot spots for you to, if you were going to get started out of the gate with no profile whatsoever, or maybe just needed a place to make those little quarter turns and little tweaks, I'm going to help you to do that. So I want to help you do that in an exciting way, in an encouraging way, in a fun way. I want to help you to keep LinkedIn simple. Got it? Okay, good, 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 and good. So... Remember LinkedIn's purposes. This is what I want you to do. I want you to remember LinkedIn's purposes. LinkedIn has two main purposes. The first purpose is being proactive on the platform. Going out there, you're actually logging in on your phone or on your tablet, on your computer. You're actually connecting with people. You're posting content. Maybe you're liking other people's content. You're um, making edits to your profile. You're messaging. You're even searching for jobs maybe or, or searching for... Um, people to fill roles you have available in your company or organization, whatever the case may be, that's you being proactive on the platform yourself. Okay. The second point though, and it's a lot why we want to even do the proactive is the reactive. It's the people that are out there seeking to find a solution to their problem, seeking to find someone that does best what they need most. And so they can hire them so they can take next steps with them. I want that person to be you. I want you to understand how to profile in such a way that when you're sleeping or you're at the beach or you're at your kid's soccer game or, or you're working on things for your business or your contract or for your job, that employers and recruiters and hiring managers are out there reactively. They're the ones searching for you. That allows you to take advantage of the reactive purpose of LinkedIn that because you set yourself up in a way to succeed. People are finding you with the keywords they're using to search for people just like you. So keep that in mind as you have fun while getting it done. Those are two main purposes we want to lean into with LinkedIn. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a walk through LinkedIn land and help you see a little bit of what I'm talking about here. All right, so let's hop over to LinkedIn. And you can see here I'm on my, I'm on my, um, my profile right now. And this is where when I log into LinkedIn, this is where you would be as well, okay? And... What I want to do here is, let's see if I can, um, I wanted to see if I can make my mouse visible for you guys. Let's look like I'm not able to do that just yet. So instead, let's just go ahead and walk through the platform here. All right, so a couple of places I want you to really focus on if you're just getting out of the gate with LinkedIn. So let's go to use my profile as an example. I'm gonna click on my name over here on the left-hand side. And you can see here, here's my profile. I'm gonna make this a little smaller because what's happening is it's making it think I'm on a mobile device if I expand or dive deep into um, really zooming in. So what you wanna do, a couple things. This is pretty straightforward and most of you have this already, but maybe you haven't given it much thought about how to make it really to your own. Right at the top of the gate, you see some important information here, right? Picture speak a thousand words. Number one, I have a cover uh, photo. Okay. And in this cover photo, you can actually share with people in a visual way what you do best and who needs it the most, who you would serve with what you do best. 
And here I'm a speaker, I'm a consultant, and I'm a coach. Right? And you can see that right here in my headline, speaker, consultant, coach, and LinkedIn trainer. Well, if you kind of connect those dots to the picture up here, you can see how I'm speaking and coaching and training from a platform, from a stage, right? And, and with many people. In this case, I was speaking uh, about um, how to manage your finances. But with that being said, is that should kind of go together for you. The keywords you have in your headline, along with your cover image, should say a lot of the same kinds of things. The next part is you want to have a nice cover, a professional photo taken. Now, in today's um, high-end phone world, smartphone with these great, amazing cameras, if you have the right light, you can get a photo of your own without preferably or without potentially a professional photographer. But depending on the kind of work that you do, you may want to hire a photographer to do a professional photo shoot for you to use in many different ways. And here I have my photo. Now, you see this little uh, orange, pink, yellow kind of highlight around it? That's because I have a video there that you can shoot from your um, from your phone that allows people to interact with you for 30 seconds in a, in a video way, uh, in, a vi in a visual and audio, audio way um, to see more about what you do best and how you seek and to serve those who need it the most. So keep that in mind. You would make that edit on LinkedIn, okay, or, or on your uh, mobile phone. You would make edits for your cover photo up here. Now I have a recommendation for you. It's a it's a, a free um, stock image site called Un splash unsplash and let's just go ahead and um, see if we can open it up for you guys so you can see what i'm talking about and unsplash.com is a great place to go ahead and get photos for free and you can even create little libraries matter of fact it's kind of cool that this came up this is a photo from um that i used in one of my presentations about how to consider yourself taking advantage of both linkedin's two main purposes proactive and reactive using a tennis illustration here you're serving the ball, you're being proactive, but these folks across the court are being reactive and receiving what you're putting out there into the court or what you're putting out there into LinkedIn and so on and so forth. But Unsplash is a great site for you to go ahead and download um, a nice horizontal, horizontally oriented pictures that can you can post up into your into your um, LinkedIn profile. And there's free ones and then there's paid for ones, but I'd recommend just using the free high resolution photos. Good. Okay, great. So that's a great place to go get, get that. I share that with my clients. Keeping LinkedIn simple as well is a chance to edit your public profile. And where I'm at now is again, I'm in, I'm in my, uh, my own profile section where I can edit my own profile. You want to go ahead and edit your public profile URL. And I share this a little bit, one of my LinkedIn um, two minute hot tips, but uh, let's share it here as well. You have an opportunity to edit your custom URL for you to be able to share um, and personalize your profile so people can easily find you. They're not hunting um, you know, and pecking on the keyboard trying to type in your name and trying to find you based on when they met you real quick at a networking event or over the phone or a Zoom call, what have you. You can edit your custom URL right here so that you can readily share on your business card, your resume, your email signature, or even by uh, word of mouth where people can find you quickly and connect with you on LinkedIn. You can edit that right here. All right, let's go back to where we were prior. So just a couple of quick little tips already, as you can see, without having um, do dove in or delved in, whatever that word is, to any kind of your work experience, any kind of content creation, we're really keeping it really simple. The other part is you want to have your head, oh, you can see there, there was my video going there that I shot on my phone. Um, but right up top, you have your name. Right up top of your LinkedIn profile, you have keyword phrase. I recommend a four-word keyword phrase, keeping it simple for recruiters, headhunters, hiring managers, people that want to connect with you to solve a problem that they have, to partner with you, to expand their network, whatever the case may be. You want to have a four-word keyword phrase. And then I put a little kind of like a little branding statement here of how I serve, who I serve, and what I serve with, right? So I'm a speaker, consultant, coach, LinkedIn trainer, helping people to know, live, and love the purpose for their career in finances. And then I put them open to networking opportunities. All right, so that's important to know that shares with people that you're open to connecting on LinkedIn, you're open to talking about next steps. Now that may cause some people to want to sell you some things, but hey, I think we're all in the business of sales. I think we're all trying to transfer our enthusiasm. And so let me take a look um, here with you for a minute. I think we're all in the opportunity to share what we do best with those who need it the most. And that's communicating a message to how you can solve a problem. And that's all that sales is, my friends. Sales is solving a problem using skills, abilities, using experiences, and leaning into solving a problem for a client, for a customer, for an employer, um, as a contractor, whatever the case may be. So keep that in mind that as you go through your profile, is it sharing with people 
what you do best? Is it sharing how you solve problems? Is it consistent, clear, and communicating that your attitude is positive? These are some of the things that I share with my coaching clients um, that they want to be able to represent themselves well in this kind of setting, both um, with you know their pictures, both with their, their, their words, and then of course you show, I shared with you a second ago about the video. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you ask yourself, do an audit for yourself of all the questions you're asking or all the things you're writing in your profile. Does this communicate what I do best with someone who needs it the most really understand that in a clear way? And do they have the opportunity to take next steps with me and see that my attitude is positive and I'm someone who wants to have fun while getting it done? Things like that. Right. So this is a part of having fun. These are making little tweaks in progress. You can jump out of the gate with your LinkedIn profile immediately. Now, let me give you an let me explain to you one powerful thing. LinkedIn is digital, <laughs> which means that you can change it, which means it's not set in stone. And because it's a free platform at the level that most people are in, you can make those changes. You're not paying a dime to make those changes. It's not like you printed a book and then you need someone to go make the change because you made a mistake. Take a swing of the bat. Put stuff in, have fun, get over the fear, worry, and anxiety, and give it a, a give it a rip. And if you don't like the results or you don't feel great about it, if you can't communicate clearly enough, then you can do, you know replace it with something else. And if you need a coach or someone like myself to help you, hire that coach. It's well worth it. It's well worth the investment. All right. So just an encouragement to you guys today. So as we go forward. Down on the profile here, you can see some, this is behind the scenes stuff, right? This is all behind the scenes stuff that you'll see in your profile as well. Now, here's some other ways to have fun while getting it done. Here's some other ways to have fun in keeping LinkedIn simple. LinkedIn is based, informed, um, or uh, constructed on a database, right? And in that database, the currency or the, the thing that makes this database go round, the main thing is keywords, right? And by the keywords that you put into your profile and by the people that you connect with, and they found you basically by the keywords in your profile, then LinkedIn will suggest you other people that you might want to consider connecting with as well. And you can see down the right-hand side here, I'm going down the screen, and this gives me all these opportunities to connect with people that may make sense for my, um, whether what's in my headline shares uh, or what's in my profile at all. LinkedIn is um, curating, recommending, and sharing with me people that I may know. So because Terrence Gonzalez is a director of recruiting and because I serve companies that are HR based in many respects to what my business is, I may want to connect with Terrence. So I would click on Terrence. You can see here he's um, a lion. What does that mean? He's a LinkedIn open networker, which means we don't have to know each other for him to accept my request. Now, that's not something automatic. He still has to accept the request I'm about to send him. I'm going to show you how to do that. But one of the things about keeping LinkedIn simple, if you want people to connect with you, consider putting Lion in your profile somehow, some way, whether it's in your summary or excuse me, your about section or, or whatnot. Um, he has it here in his um, headline or up here in his name. Excuse me. He edited his name to put MBA behind it. He's um, and he is licensed or certified as an um, SPHR and then having Lion in his name. You don't have to do that. You can put that other places, but this shares with me that he's a LinkedIn open networker. He's in Atlanta. He has 500 plus connections. So you can see right here, look, see, I believe in the power of networking. That's why I'm a Lion, right? You don't have to say those kinds of things per se quite like that, but somewhere in your summary, I would encourage you to put that because you want to connect with other Lions. Other Lions are connected with other Lions. They are super connectors. Their network is deep. It's wide. It's across multiple industries. And you want to keep LinkedIn simple? Leverage the work that these LinkedIn um, users have done to build a network that's powerful. Ride on their coattails. You know, pick up their cape and put it on. You can really ride the wave of the, the work they've done, the time they've invested into their network, and you can leverage that as well. And the cool thing is, when you leverage theirs, they're also going to be able to leverage yours. So keeping it simple. Work and team up with LinkedIn Lions, L-I-O-N. So I'm going to show you how to connect here. Here's Terrence. I'm going to connect with Terrence. Click connect button. Your invitation is almost on its way. Now you can add a note to personalize. Always want to add a note. And this is what I say. Hi, Terrence. My name is Brian Horvath. I see here on LinkedIn that we are both Lions. If you would be open to it, 
let's connect here on Li. Thanks in advance, Brian Horvath. And then I put my URL at the bottom. You might want to put your email, or you put you know whatever you want to put there. But I put my URL. So as I said here, hi Terrence, real quick, basic. My name is Brian Horvath. I see here on LinkedIn we're both lions. If you'd be open to it, let's connect here on LinkedIn. Pretty straightforward. Thanks in advance. I always put thanks in advance. And then Brian Horvath, brianhorvath.com. And then click send. So you can see here, now it's pending. And um, hopefully he connects today. Stay tuned. And then, of course, because I viewed Terrence, it shows that people who viewed Terrence have also viewed. And this is where get LinkedIn gets fun, is that really helps you expand your network pretty quickly. And that's a big piece of the platform. It's a big piece of operating on LinkedIn is building your network. Now, as we scroll through here, a couple of things you want to do is I really encourage you to keep LinkedIn simple, is to make sure that your about section also has your keyword phrase. And before you go writing paragraphs, just brain dump in a Word doc or maybe a Google doc or even on a piece of paper, what do you do best? And how do the, what you do best fit into categories over the course of your career? And then bullet point those things in the summary or the about section of your profile. So that's a very cool opportunity here. And I'd also encourage you to put a couple of things down at the bottom of your summary that shares about or in your about section that helps you connect correctly or quickly with the right connections. As you can see here, this is where I put my Lion LinkedIn Open Networker. So we're just doing a little LinkedIn walkthrough here. You want to have your experience section filled up with your headline or excuse me, your keyword phrase, and you want to have it Make sure it's updated. How many times people still have jobs in there that they haven't worked for quite some time? Make sure those are updated, my friends. Okay. You can put different other call to actions in here. If you have any YouTube channels or other social media you thought might be appropriate for an employer, potential employer, prospective um, collaborator or connector um, or connection might want to see. Here's different things I've done at different companies, different organizations. Here's some endorsements that I put into my work experience and so on and so forth. All right, any licensing and certifications, any volunteering, put those in. And I'll share one more thing today for today's LinkedIn Live Q&A before I get to a couple questions. And one would be to make sure that in your skills section, you have maximized your skills at 50. You can list 50 skills in this section by clicking this plus button. Okay, let's go back to that one more time. You're in your profile, you see the skills section. If you don't have a skills section, you want to go up to the back up to the top of your profile and click add profile section and that will allow you to add that skill section if you don't have it already okay now let's go back up to um, skills okay so you can add skills here you can also move skills around in different kinds of orders and things like that all right so consider that as a great great opportunity for you to quickly take what you do best like today would be good and keep it simple by just dropping in different skills. And here's another way that LinkedIn keeps it simple for you. Let's see if I can add one or act like I can add one. Well, I've reached the number of skills. But LinkedIn will take what you've put into your profile already, whether it's your headline, your work experience, or different things, and it will suggest skills that you would be good for or that you would have based on what it's reading in your profile. And you can use these to add to your skills. You don't have to come up with everything. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. But as you even start typing, LinkedIn will also start populating areas of opportunity for you to add skills as well. But those are some quick headline points or updated cool points for you to be able to quickly make a difference, have fun while getting it done within your LinkedIn profile. Got it? All right, I'll give you one more. Here's a cool one if you want to quickly flip over a resume on the go, okay? A resume on the go or you want to use it maybe in another fashion. Uh, your LinkedIn profile can be saved to a PDF. You can save it to a PDF and it's going to format for you into a PDF, a nice PDF um, in a simple way that will allow you to share it. So if you're running on a go or if you don't have an updated resume or something like that, or you just want to add one more, one more opportunity to communicate with someone what you do best, um, then you can save to PDF your whole profile and it will dump it out into a nice, nice document um, for you. Okay, so try that, take a look at what that looks like, and go from there. Now, let's get to a couple of our questions for today. So, 
If you have any questions, if you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the box, chat box right away. And if I don't get to them on the live for some whatever reason, I can get to them at a later date and of course even email you back or you know somehow get back to you over our social media channel that you're watching this content on. So let me go ahead and get to a couple questions that I see out there often on LinkedIn. Brian, so what do you do if you're currently retired? Well, I just ask if you're still sucking wind, <laughs> if you're still breathing, if you're still active and you're still involved, whether in your community or maybe you're doing a little bit of consulting, like you're semi-retired or maybe you're active at your, your church or you just quite honestly, just like helping people and want to be involved. Well, I don't think until we take our last breath, we shouldn't be serving people or helping others in some way, shape or form. And if you have certain skills and giftings that would really serve the marketplace, then LinkedIn is a great opportunity for you to make those known, share your story, showcase your value, and really have fun while getting it done. So if you're currently retired, you may want to go ahead and you know put that in there somehow, some way. But you may put, as one of my friends, Brian Ray, a good mentor, says, he's retired. But what he does is shares advice, counsel, and referrals. So you can still use LinkedIn in a tremendous fashion to help people make the right connections while you're making the right connections yourself. So really think about your heart, your attitude, and, and your kind of perspective of where you're going next in your career um, with regards to things like advice, counsel, and referrals. And uh, heck, there could even be a, a nominal fee you might charge. You may not need the income like you once did or, or whatnot. So this could be a great chance for you to still have some extra fun money coming in or whatever, and uh, also have a chance to make an impact and influence. And uh, that to me says like you're knowing, living and loving your purpose in life, my friend. So great questions that come across, things like that. Should I keep my recent title, Brian, if I'm currently employed? Should I keep my recent title if I'm currently employed? No, you want to um, archive that, if you will. What I mean by archive is basically put the end date on it. But how you can work around that in, in your making a current title. And by the way, why a current title is really important is because it's the most keyword rich place in LinkedIn for you to be found for the keywords that someone like a recruiter or headhunter or hiring manager would be searching for you. That's the number one place that LinkedIn will look for those keywords to be found so that you can uh, you know, connect, make the right connections for collaborations or being hired or whatever the case may be. So put the end date on the last job you had. And for your new title, you want to put in something like your keyword phrase or something that says a statement that shares best which you who needs the most. Um, let me say that one more time. Put your keyword phrase in there and then put even a little section in there in your experience about what you're looking to do next and how you can add value to that next employer or, or um, nonprofit, you know, for profit, whatever the case may be, client, okay, you name it. But you definitely want to archive that, put an end date to that to be, you know, have integrity and to share the most current stuff and then put that, um, put your keyword phrase in that most current job title so you don't lose those points opportunity um, that uh, that place in LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile is the most valued. Okay. With, what are the overall, what overall are the security risks in accepting connections? Well, like any social media, there's a risk you run for someone either, you know, hacking you or getting into your account, getting information you don't want them to have, um, you know, you name it. There's a whole plethora, unfortunately, of things that can go awry when you're on social media. Now, because LinkedIn at its core and basis is a social media platform for business professionals, I don't personally see a lot of spam. Have I seen a little uptick in it recently and lately? Yes, I have, but I just ignore them or I even make those connections with people, even though I know they're going to spam me, sell me or whatever. Why? As long as it's legal, <laughs> ethical and moral, I'm going to accept that connection request and just bite the bullet on whether they're going to try to sell me in something. One, it gives me an opportunity to learn how they try to go about it and see that uh, it might even just give me encouragement to knowing that I do things the slow way, but the better way is, uh, is, is one more reason to be encouraged when I see things the wrong way. I'm like, all right, I like how I'm doing it. Um, hopefully that made sense. But really what that does is allow me to accept their connection request so I have entry into their uh, first level, second level, and third level connection network. And that's why I want to encourage you to leverage that. Now, what could they get from your profile? If you have your phone number on there, they can get your phone number. If you have your email address, they can get your email address. How do we work around that? Get yourself a LinkedIn email address. And I don't mean from LinkedIn, but a Gmail account or something like that that's used, that's designated for LinkedIn communique. And have your name in it, have it be professional, 
um, have it you know be very straightforward so that if employers want to email you with that or they see that on your profile then they know how to get a hold of you and it says who you are and represents your personal brand well the other thing is if you, you want to use a google voice phone number or some kind of alternative phone number that's not your real phone number but allows you to screen these kinds of calls that may come in you can do that now i've actually got a couple clients out of the um, over the years call me and start doing business with me and me with them by me having my phone number but you could have a Google Voice number that just masks what your real number is. So you can um, move any kind of spam or any kind of uh, not the most appropriate things off, off the grid there, off the LinkedIn grid. But really, I encourage you to accept all requests um, as it makes sense, legal, moral, ethical. Good stuff, folks. This is great. And thanks for hanging with me today. Hope you're appreciating this as much as I am. Every time I get to share with this stuff, I get to uh, learn about it as well. And so I really appreciate this opportunity to share with you. And of course, um, well, we just did Q&A. We have the free masterclass. I have a free masterclass tonight. So if you're watching this live at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I have the last LinkedIn masterclass. We'll talk about the three C's, how to make the right connections, three success strategies to help you make the right career connections without having to be a computer whiz, a social butterfly, or a networking superstar. You can sign up for free at brianhorvath.com slash masterclass. And of course, I reminded you earlier as well, and I'll do it again. Email me your questions for these LinkedIn Live Q&As at brian at brianhorvath.com. And I'd love to connect with you that way. So, hey guys, great being with you today. Great having you on the show and participating with me and growing and going in your career, using LinkedIn to advance your career, to have fun while getting it done. And most important, folks, keep it simple. Remember, we all have to start somewhere. We all have to start somewhere. So start at the top and work your way down. And if you need a coach, let me know. Go ahead and email me at brian at brianhorbeth.com. So thankful to be with you guys today. Go get them. And we'll see you next week at 12 noon or tonight at the Masterclass.